Today, we're opening a mystery box full of vintage Yu-Gi-Oh packs. What is up, guys? We are back with the second part of the video from Happy. If you guys missed part one, go check it out. Uh, he sent us a two-part mystery box. So here we have video two. Video two rules and intro. So I'm going to open this thing up. Let's get right into it. There is a giveaway in this video coming up in just a second after the intro. All right, here we go. This thing is literally on card. Why is it on cardboard? I don't... Why? Why? Is he really want this piece of paper to be nice and what in the oh I see okay hello Ruxin today's video will be testing your knowledge of Yu-Gi-Oh sets eras and anime you'll be opening over 70 packs from three different eras want to keep this video simple allow you to display your knowledge you'll be going through these packs searching for cards that various characters have used or that you feel like they would have used oh great I am so bad at this I need to rewatch the anime there's no strict requirement for what cards you can pick for each duelist the comments will let you know if you made a big mistake oh they will for sure that is that is definitely true you'll find three boxes containing roughly 24 various booster packs each these boxes are organized from least exciting to the most exciting packs hope you've been studying since the last time we were able to, and will be able to ace this challenge i i haven't i'm not gonna lie good luck rules you can open packs in whatever order you want but must complete each box before moving to the next okay so the boxes let's look at the boxes wait oh the box like as in the box of packs okay when you open a pack you must decide if you're keeping any of the cards before moving to the next pack once you've decided on a card for a duelist add it to the game board you may change that duelist cards one additional time two chances okay scoring will be one point for commons two point for rares three for supers four for ultras five for anything higher a final score will We'll decide which generation wins and how many giveaway prizes the community wins. Okay, little confusing, but I think I see where he's going here. Okay, so what? Wait, 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 wait. Are they two separate? Oh my gosh, there's 16 duel. Hopefully I can get that. <laughs> what does that mean? Is that like Pequeno Moth? Is that like, what is that? Okay, so there are 16 duelists. The max amount of points is five because you can get anything over an ultra rare. So you can get 16 times five points. So that's 50, 80 points. So we'll have it up on the screen how many total points we have. So like when I lay down a common on Pegasus, I get one point. I can switch that one time. But if I don't switch it, it stays at one point. So we're going to have a screen counter. When I put something down, we'll add it to the points. If I decide to switch it, it'll take that away and then add the new one or whatever. So if it's like one and I get a three pointer, it'll go, well, our score will go up too. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, I think I get this. Giveaway time. These are always super fun videos. Like they're a little bit of an extra challenge added into the pack opening. I really enjoy doing these. Very interactive mystery boxes. We have done some of these before. I'm gonna pop up on the screen the last one we did. A lot of people really liked it in terms of retention, I could tell, but it didn't like blow up or anything. So I know a lot of you guys didn't see it. It was a really fun opening. So go check out that last one we did. All right, giveaway time. Here's the giveaway for the video. Oh, it depends on how many points we get. Oh, okay. So if I get zero points, I'm guessing that we get to give away each one. Like, so it's like, you, if you get zero, you get this one. You get one point, you get this one and this one. Wait, let's see what this is. And then you just keep getting ah, this The one point. Yeah, so, okay. So it's just a common. And then you get to go three. We'll reveal what these are at the end. Five, seven, ten. I mean, that, you can kind of tell what that is. 15, 20. If we get to 30, there's a pretty big uh, giveaway. And then 60. There's 80 max. So all I have to do is get 60. is pretty crazy. But all these will eventually be given away if we get the right amount of points. If you guys want to enter the giveaway that we will win throughout this video, just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and thank Happy in the comments for the awesome interactive mystery box. Okay, um, I think Duelist Pack Yugi is probably a great place to start. Okay, how am I going to do this? I think I'm going to have to set these aside so you guys can see that. And you guys can see the board a little bit. Okay, so Duelist Pack Yugi. I naturally should have something for Yugi, right? I mean, we want to, if we get an ultra like Dark Paladin, that would be, a, i definitely lay that down because that's a four pointer. That's, I mean, Diffusion Wave Motion he used, that's a common. Queen's Knight, I don't know if I want to go with any commons this early. We have Blackluster Ritual. Or maybe like we should just lay down our first time, just be like a common or something, just to make sure you get a point on there. And then you just swap it to something big. Brain Control, Card of Sanct, that's a rare, wait. He used Card of Sanctity, didn't he? Oh, great. Hopefully, I don't screw this up. Oh, wait, that was it. Card of Sanctity is a two-pointer. Should I lay a two-pointer down? There's going to be a lot of Yugi packs. There's going to be a lot of Yugi packs. And I'm not even 100% sure he used this. I think it might have been Pegasus. So I'm not... It's in Yugi. He probably used it. I'm going to wait because Yugi is going to... I mean, it's Yugi. He's going to have a lot of... He's going to have a lot of chances. So let's... No, let's, let's do Kaiba here. Let's do a, a Kaiba pack. If we get an ultimate rare out of here, that's a five-pointer. We slam that sucker down right away, obviously. Rage Battle Ox. He definitely used that. That's good. We have the uh, Sangi, the Dark Clown. We have Ring of Defense. The Blue Eyes White Dragon Super Rare. Okay. 
And Boris Raider, that's got to be thrown down. That's a three-pointer. It's not a four or a five, but this is literally Kaiba's card. Blue Eyes White Dragon, where is he? Okay, you guys can't see this. I'm going to zoom out real quick. You guys see that? Kaiba's got a three-pointer. So add it to the tally editor. We now have three points on the board. We've officially entered into giveaway territory. You guys win like a great white shark or whatever that thing's called. Okay, that's a great pull. Blue Eyes White Dragon right off the bat. That's awesome. Okay, Dark Paladin time. We can't get anything above an ultra here um because you know it's uh it's in the set they don't have anything better than ultras in yugi unfortunately we have diffusion wave motion queen's knight sorcerer of dark magic that's a super as well he definitely used that we're putting that down that's a three pointer we now have six points i think locking in three points like minimum is a good idea so like if we hit a four pointer we could replace it or a five but there's not too much decision there i think a three goes down immediately we are off to an absolute blazing start the only way we can top this right here is an ultra or an ulti for kaiba um which would be fantastic so i'm not gonna say i don't want that we have ancient lamp we have ring of defense these are nice and easy because, you know, it's Duelist Pack High, but he probably used the cards, right? X head cannon, and I think that's it. Cost down. Okay, so we did get two great hits out of there. Dark Crisis. Now, who used any cards? So who do we have here? Joey, I didn't even look. My Pegasus. Okay, none of these are going to be relevant. It's going to be Joey, my, or Pegasus. Maybe Yugi. Dark Crisis? We, even, we don't have the guy that used the, the Guardians, so I don't even know, like, what are we even going to potentially get out of here? Exodian Necros was used by, uh, who was it? Kaiba's uh, uncle or whatever. So Guardian Chaos. I don't know who used anything. Oh, the Chaz. Wait. No, the Chaz. Ojama Trio. That could go on the Chaz. Uh, he didn't actually maybe use it. Maybe he did use Ojama Trio, but he used Ojama. So that, that definitely would count because there's a little bit of like leeway. It's like if you think they should have used it or whatever. Ooh, do we want to lock in the Chaz at one point? Chaz is going to be one. It's going to be a little harder probably to find a card for him, I would think. Let's see what other packs we have before we move on. So other packs, we can't open the next boxes yet. We have Dark Crisis, Invasion of Chaos, LOB, Barrow Servant, Spell. I mean, none of those are going to be relevant. Power of the Duelist probably has a couple Chaz cards. Maybe Force the Breaker, Cyber Dark Impact. There's some Light of Destruction. There's a few, few options, but hmm maybe not ojama trio it's too early i'm not gonna log in yet but i was considering it i was getting no i was considering it let's do another dark crisis if we pull another ojama here it's a sign okay i'm not gonna bother flippy flopping let's go we have we have a uh, solga we have battle scarred we have a uh, goblin greed agito agito we have shooting star bow seal geki guy panda outstanding gog Marin. and contract with the abyss okay uh, now I'm wondering if we should have put something on there, but probably not because there are Ojamas in Invasion of Chaos as well. So I don't need to freak out. Do not need to freak out. One, two, three, four. This is a 2017 pack. DNA transplant. That is an Ojama on it. No, it's not. A, that's not an Ojama. That's that little dude. Uh, Chaos Reed. Kind of looks like him. Torpedo Fish. Crimson Ninja. Primal C. So far we have six points. We're not doing too bad. Gale Lizard, we want to get 60. That's for a, you guys to win a Duelist Genesis pack. Oh, Jama Yellow. Okay, we got to consider that. Lacunga. Levia Dragon. Who used this? This is a four-pointer. Who used Levia Dragon Daedalus? Oh, I'm missing four points right here. Umi. It's got to be, it's got to be Mako. But Mako's not on the board. So I don't think that he is actually relevant. We got an ultra that I don't think we can put on anybody. Let me know, is there anyone that counts toward this? And what are we going to put on Ruxin's spot? I don't even know. Do I just get the? Does that just like free for me? I get to put whatever I want. I'm going to put this yellow on Chad. So we can do one upgrade for him. But I'm going to put the yellow just so we get we get something on him. Because I think he'll be one of the harder ones for me to determine. Like, it'll be like a arm dragon or something. And I don't see any arm dragon packs in here. So... Maybe. All right, let's try another Invasion of Chaos. We're up to seven points, which is a nice little threshold. 30 is like second place, so that's really good, but 60 is the goal we're going for. We want to get 60. I think we can do it with 70 packs. Definitely possible. We have Lord Poison, Self-Destruct Bond, Chaos Necromancer, Coach Goblin. Watch out, Rocky. Maybe Grimaju Day, Isa. Um, Primal Sea, Gale Lazard, Stray Lambs. Oh, Jama Yellow again. It's a sign. I think it was a sign. We needed to put that down. So that's fine. Another Invasion of Chaos. Uh, we could get a Chaos Emperor Dragon Secret. That would be a five-pointer for Kaiba. So that would actually upgrade on the blue eyes. So if we do get the Chaos Emperor, that'd be a huge pull. Uh, Black Luster could go on Yugi for four points in Ultra Rare. Sophie would be a Crimson Ninja. If we get a four-pointer, we probably should upgrade it. Anti-Aircraft. Giga, 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 Dimension Distortion. We have Stray Lambs and 
zero gravity. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, next is LOB. Moving on to the Legend of Blue Eyes. Let's see what we can get. LOB, Legend of Blue Eyes. 20, I didn't see what, I didn't see what year it was. Probably 2017. Usually it's 2017. We have hard armor. Obviously, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Ultra, Dark Magician, Ultra, those take over. Guy of the Dragon Champions, a five pointer for Yugi. So that'd be pretty big. Uh, armor Ninja, anything for Joey in here? I don't know. My, that's going to be Metal Raiders if we have that. Forest. Okay, I did something wrong on the pack trick there. Do we have Metal Raiders? We don't have Metal Raiders. We have everything but Metal Raiders, basically. Okay, Legend of Blue Eyes. Four from the back. Flippity flop. We have Rantipatula. Sandstone. Woody Phantom. Bean Flexion number two. Frenzied Panda. He knows I'm a soul. Red Medicine. Reaper of the Cards. Oh, we don't have the guy who uses this, do we? No, we don't. And the 13th grave. So LOB kind of letting us down right now. A lot of, see, the thing is, not a lot of anime cards in the low rarity LOB. It's kind of sad. No Metal Raiders. So no, how are we going to pull Ruxin 34 cards? Maybe they'll be in the, in the next boxes. Because remember, there's, this is going to be a long video, guys. Very long. We're already like pretty far into it. And there is a ton of packs left. Channing Mermaid, we have Yurabi. Maybe we shouldn't pack trick everything. Just speed it up. And more number two. But I, honestly, it's kind of fun. Fusionist, Fusionist. Oh. Okay. It could be Exodia, could be Man Eater Bug. Man Eater Bug. Okay, that's a Yugi card. That just matches Sorcerer of Dark Magic, so it's actually not gonna really help. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. No, Pegasus used Man Eater Bug. Pegasus used Man Eater Bug, didn't he? In the duel where they get shrunk onto the board in the original series, it's like a really early episode. It's like episode 12 or so, 13 or something. It's pretty early. I don't even know if Tristan had changed his voice yet. He was still Tristan. Hi, you guys. I got the what? The Wilderness Survival Guide. Yeah, I think it was still that voice. That's how early it was. I think Pegasus used this card. That's a three pointer for Pegasus as a super rare. That is worth. So that's three points, I think. So look, here's the thing. We're going to have a total at the end. And if I screwed anything up, the numbers could change. Like if I put something in the wrong spot, you know, and counted it for points it shouldn't account it for, I won't know until the video goes up. So I guess you guys are going to be um, going to be telling me at the end, but I'm 99% sure he used that. That's a really good pull. So we're up to 10 points now. So we're making good progress. It's going to be harder and harder to get points as we go though. Man eater bug better than Exodia. Actually, Exodia would have given us a one point increase. That gave us a three point increase. Let's see if this LOB pack, Book of Secret Arts, we have Metabat, Green Phantom King, Aquamadur, and uh-oh, uh-oh, Vanilla, Curse of Dragon, dadgummit, that's same level, so it's also a super rare, still a great pull, Curse of Dragon, Guy of the Dragon Champion would have been crazy, because that would have been a five-pointer. All right, nice super rare, but not actually helping us in our quest right now. Pharaoh Servant, I don't even know who uses Pharaoh. There's not that many OG guys in here. Oni Tank, oh, Oni Tank, Rux and 34. That definitely counts toward Rux and 34. We gotta, gotta consider that. One, two, three, four. The thing is, it's only a one-pointer, though. So I don't know if I would even put it on there. Overdrive, a lot of intervention. We have Doku Royale, really but Jinzo would definitely be a Rux and card. Harpy's Brother, seven completed. Infinite Dismissal, Light Force Sword. That's a Yugi card. That'd be two points. And Flame Champion. Okay. Okay. We tried. We tried. We'll try Spell Ruler. I don't know where my cards are. The Metal Raiders. We don't have any Metal Raiders yet. It's MRD and it's what else? That's it. It's like MRD is like it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. One, two, three, four. Flip these around. What else can we get for Joey Wheeler? I don't know. We have uh, Fairy Sand Mirror, Guardian of the Throne, Mystic Plasma Zone. Blue Eyes Tune would be big, I guess, for Pegasus. That's what we kind of want. Uh, Relinquished as well. Giant Germ and Mold Destruction. Okay, so nothing in there. All right, we are past the DM era here, I think. There will probably be more in future boxes, but Power of the Duelist. So we might be able to get some stuff for maybe Jaden. Crow is maybe not in here. Jack Atlas, Akiza, I don't know. Some of this stuff. I, Power of the Duelist, I think, is more like Dino and stuff like that, though. So I don't know. There is Elemental Hero Neos for Jaden. It is a common, though. So that's kind of like, eh. We probably want to get something else besides that. All right. We have the Sabersaurus, Destiny Hero Defender. Destiny Hero. Is Astro Phoenix on here? There's a lot of GX characters on here, isn't there? No, that's 5Ds. Um, Yeah, I said, uh, yeah, these are 5Ds characters. So, so maybe somebody from one of these, Chaz and all them. Ambulance Roid, let's see. Ambulance Roid. We don't even have the Roid guy on here. Okay. Uh, Via Croid. Destiny or Fear Monger. No Aster either. We have Rescue Roid. D Chain. So all that stuff is characters we don't have. Because we don't have Aster or Cyrus. So neither of them. Is there any? What is Empower the Duelist? I guess Elemental Hero Neos. Elemental Hero Dark Neos. 
Flare Neos. I mean, the, like the, the elemental hero Neo stuff. All right, let's keep it up. Let's see what else. We have Destiny Hero Defender. Can we actually get something? Blade Master, Common Soul. We're on a little bit of a cold streak. Destiny Mirage, Rescue Roid, Synthetic Seraphim. There's Neo. So there, that's an option for Jade. I feel like we're going to have a lot of Jade and options, though. Uh, Bombardment and Cyclone Blade. I don't think we go with a one-pointer on Jaden. There will probably be another Jaden card, so I'm not going to do that yet. We have one more Power of the Duelist. Well, I regret that. There aren't that many GX packs left in here, but we still have a two box. I'm not going to do that. I mean, it's Jaden. He's the main character from GX. There's going to be more Jaden cards. There will be at least another one-pointer. Like, that is... No, we don't need to freak out and try to get one of those right away. Okay, Black Terra. We have Flying Saucer. Musk. We have Destiny. D Spirit. Fake hero, alien hunter, brainwashing beam, the miracle Jurassic egg, and the alien warrior. I don't think we got anything in those. That was kind of rough. That's okay, because we have force of the breaker. I don't, force of the breaker, crystal beasts. Okay, we can get some Jesse stuff in here. Some Jesse, Jesse Anderson, right? Jesse Anderson, I think. Okay, one, two, three, four, I think. Let's see, let's get some uh, ultimate rare topaz tiger. Let's do that, that'd be huge, terrible deal. Dweller in the depths, we have Magnus slash dragon, blaze accelerator. Pyrotype, we have Mass Hypnosis. Mikey Master Barriers and a Lucky Iron Axe. We were not lucky that time, though. All right, no Crystal Beast in that one. That's unfortunate because I think he'll probably be a tough one. Cyber Dark Impact. Who is going to be in here? Cyber stuff, maybe? Isn't there a, a couple, maybe? I don't know. No, I don't even know. I'm trying to think. Barrier Statue. Rocks of Special. Instant Fusion sounds like a... Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a Zane card. I think that's a Zane card, but I'm not sure. Barrier Statue of the Inferno, Chain Strike. It's only a one-pointer, so I'm not too concerned. Jesse Break and Rampaging Rhinos. I don't think there's anything in there that we really want to go with. Lost Millennium, I think, has potential on a few different people. So let's do this one. Ancient Gears. Crowler's not on here. No Dr. Crowler. So sad. One, two, three, four. We got White Ninja. We have Miss Polymerization. Impenetrable Fortress. Mind Golem. Lost Guardian. These golems definitely could be with Crowler, I think. Uh, even though he's not here. We have Pikaru. We have Ancient Gear Soldier. There he is. And Royal Strand. I feel like none of these are going anywhere. But we now have a little Light of Destruction. Who even used Honest? I don't know. I don't know who used Honest. I'm not 100% sure. Arcana Force was with this Sartorius. He's not going to be relevant. What's going to be in here? What is, this is an original Light of Destruction back too, though. So that's pretty exciting. Oh, let's do three from the back. Portable battery pack. I'm going to be trying to figure this out. Realm of Light. We have Goblin Recon Swad. The Lady in White. Arcane Force Zero, the Fool, so we don't have Sartorius. Level tuning. Arcane Force Seven, the Chariot. It's a Hero Blast. And Interplanetary Invader A. Okay. Hero Blast is a rare for Jaden. We we could go with a two-pointer. That's not horrible. Locking in a two, then it's like a three, four, or five could be upgrade. I kind of like that. Let's do a hero blast on him. So that'll give us two more points. That puts us up to 12. I feel okay about doing a two-pointer. That's not bad. And plus, like, I don't know. I don't I don't know what other packs are coming, so I'm not 100% sure. I don't really want to lock in a one-pointer unless it's like a, like, like Chaz, you know, I'm not 100% sure what he's going to have. One, two, three, four. Jaden, he'll at least get a two-pointer. We have Quick Charger. We have Portable Battery Pack. Garoth. Who used light swords in the anime? I don't know. How are we even going to give what's her name? What's her, whatever her name is. She used cyber angel stuff. I guess she used the blade, cyber blader as well. I don't know. Cup of ace. Cup of ace. There you go, Ian. That was Sartorius as well, right? Battery man, charger, short circuit, and owner seal. Dude, who used this? This was an anime card, I think. I feel like it was like Weevil or something. We got some 5Ds. Maybe 5Ds has not been touched yet. So hopefully 5Ds can go off a little bit, get some points on the board. 16 people, if we average four points, that will get us over 60. So we, we need to average four points. That means we need some five, five pointers, really. I mean, that's pretty tough. One, two, three from the back. The flippity flop, floppity flip. We have the hedge guard. Blackwing Kalud. Okay, we immediately have something for Crow. Level Returner, we have Proof of Powerlessness, Minoan Centaur. Gigastone Omega, Overdoom Line. We have Tree Otter. That's a weird guard. And uh, Wrecking Power. So we have something for Crow. Do we want to lock it in yet? Because if there's like Duelist packs that can really change everything, I don't know if I want to lock in a one-pointer on him yet. But if, yeah, because if we need to average four, three points, probably shouldn't be locking in one-pointers. We already did one, but okay. We won't do that. We'll save it. We'll hope Crow can get something better. I think there is a chance we get nothing on him, though, because they're... He's like pretty specific to the set, you know, uh, like if you get Duelist Pack Crow, obviously it's great. If you get the set that has all the black wings in it, which I can't remember what it is, 
Three from the back, uh, or most of the Black Wings. Oh, that was the wrong one. I wasn't supposed to do that. I was supposed to go like that. There we go. Okay, Phoenixian Seed, we have Iron Core to immediate disposal. Let's pull a Ghost Rare um, Power Tool Dragon. That would that would be pretty easy. Who used Power Tool? Oh yeah, oh yeah, the, the twins, so that would count. Proof of Powerlessness, I don't remember what else they used. The, the, the Unicorn, Iron Core of Quagimiro, and Wonder Clover with a Panda on it. Okay, three packs left. This is only box one. <laughs> This is going to be a very long video, so sit back and enjoy it, guys. Enjoy the long videos. They are fun opening long videos. Uh, three, swapity swap. Let's see what we can get. Start us overdrive, Spiritual Forest. That is, I think that has to do with the twins, but I can't remember. We have Gemini Booster, Insect Neglect, Bending Destiny, Gemini Counter, the Jin Release of Rituals, and Molting Escape. Okay, none of those feeling too good about anybody. We haven't even touched the GX people. I didn't give anybody anything. I just realized that. Oh, I guess Jaden. He's over here. And Chaz. So that, that's fair. There was two. A lot of GX, though. Six GX characters, only four DM and four 5Ds. It's kind of interesting. I wonder if it's based on the number of packs or if that's just who we have, you know, wanted to do. One, two, three. Flippity flop. Let's see. Two more packs here. Divine Dragon, Armored Exxon, Kicker. Battle of the Elements. Blackwing Fane, the Steel Chain. That's another Crow card. We really need Ansi. That's also a Ruxin card. Um... We need to pull some points, though. We have Reinforced Truth. Morphtronic Magnum Bar. Morphtronics, they use those, yeah. I don't think one-pointers are going to cut it. We're skipping those for the first box. Okay, Ancient Prophecy, last pack of box one. Then we go to box two. Okay, we're doing pretty good so far, but uh, we really need to pick it up. We want to hit that top uh, top goal. I'm trying to win it for you guys. Here we go. Flippity flop, floppity flip, like that. We have the Psychic Soul. Shark Cruiser at one with the sword. Dark Sea Float. Silver Wing to get that Lugia. Pixie Ring. Armored Sea Hunter, Arcana Night Joker, and a Turbo Cannon. I got so excited. Turbo Cannon. Okay. Just a super. I don't know who used Turbo Cannon. I have no idea. So I'm not even going to try to guess. Let's be honest. Okay, moving on to box number two. It says number two and second on it. Video two. Okay, so that first box was supposed to be the worst of the boxes. That means this is going to be fire, okay? Box two. I mean, just, just check this out. Okay, we got Soul of Duel. Oh, Soul of Duels. We got Duelist Pack. Okay, Jade and Dadgummit. I shouldn't have locked in that hero. Dude, this is going to be crazy. Okay, we got some good stuff coming up. Box three is about to be insane if it's better than all these. All right, start off with LOB, which we know we kind of need to pull the high rarity stuff here. Let's see if we can do it. Four from the back. Flippity flop. King Fog. Electro Whip. Just give us something big. Frenzy Panda. He knows Thomas Soul. Rocks and special. Silver Fag. That's a Yuki card. I got a hiccup. Silver Grotto number one. Carbonella Warrior. And <sighs> got to try not to hiccup. Here we go. Oh, the legendary sword. It's legendary. It's a sword, but it is not going to upgrade us. Spell roll of time. Still no metal raiders. Are they saving them for the end? Please tell me this is a metal raider. So I don't know where mine's getting any cards. Honestly, I don't know where she's getting cards without metal raiders because there should be at least a harpy lady or a harpy hunting or a harpy lady sisters or uh, whatever that harpy lady spell card is called. Okay. Horn of light. What are we looking for in here? Uh, Blue Eyes, Toon Dragon, Koto Dama, we have Grave Fever Servant, Eternal Rest, Darth Maul, Performance of the Sword, Twin Long Rods, number two, watch that, Heo Zanru. This is Bastion, we have no Bastion, that could be two points, and Confiscation, that was, I did not think that was a hollow, okay. I have no idea who used this. This was probably like either in GX or something, or it was like Pegasus, I don't know, honestly. That does suck that I don't know, because that's a three-pointer, if I knew, and if it, it might not fit anybody on here, to be honest, which is definitely possible but i'm not 100 percent sure who would use confiscation i feel like it could be really anybody you know spell ruler okay let's just keep going we need a big upgrade we have not hit over a three-pointer yet please blue eyes tunes big serpent knight would uh count toward joey because he won it off of uh he won serpent knight off of what's his name didn't he rex raptor or did he only win he won no he won red eyes he didn't win the serpent knight did he so that wouldn't even count toward anything. So hopefully we don't get that. Ryu ran. That's a Pegasus card, but we have Pegasus covered. Uh, twin Long Rods, Boar Soldier. Hero Shadow Scout. Come on. Oh, Mahavilo. This feels like a Yugi card. We already have Yugi, so we're good. Uh, but I don't remember exactly who used this. Super rare. All right. Another card I don't know. Spell Ruler. It feels, feels like not great. I mean, I, I just don't know what we're going to... I mean, the, the equip spells. Who used a Mage Power and all that? No, that's, that's not in here. Acts of Despair. Who used that? Just don't. Did my phone just die? Oh, no. 
Oh no, don't die. I need to go eat my charger, my better charger. Oh no, hopefully the footage is still there. That would be bad, bad, that would be bad. Da -da -da. Okay, this video is so long, my phone died. So, which is what I record with, by the way. So uh, this one started to be opened, but uh, I didn't actually see what was inside. So here we go, let's continue. I did not lose the footage, thank goodness. I was freaking out, I was like, oh my gosh, we just lost the footage of a 30 minute video. This is not good, 30, well, the first 30 minutes of this video, this is literally gonna be like an hour video. This cord is now in a weird spot, sorry about that. But you know, we, got, we gotta make sure it doesn't die again. We have wall shadow. That is a Paradox Bros card, that doesn't help. Okay, Griggle, we have Horn of Light. Labyrinth Ball, more Paradox Bros. Uh, Tyone, number two. Sinju is a, that's a Pegasus card, I think. And uh, Kotodama. So nothing helpful in there. Magic Ruler has not been very helpful. I'm not going to lie. And that's saying that without knowing what confiscation actually goes. Okay. Rise of Destiny, first edition. What, what might be in here? Rise of Destiny? Yugi? I uh, don't know. One, two, three, four. What is that? Pitch, pitch Black Warwolf. I love this dude. I use that dude. He's a nice beast warrior in Go format. Uh, Foxfire used it in Wheel Go. Go check out Wheel Go if you haven't already. Invasion of Flames. Creepy new mana. I don't know what any of these cards like. Okay, that card's annoying. Gage used it against me. It's basically the same thing as Pitch, Pitch Black Werewolf. And then Chambers. I don't know if any of those are used in anime at all. Like, <laughs> I have no idea. I'm sure somewhere they are. Here's another Rise of Destiny pack. I'm trying to think of any of them that we could pull. Monster Reincarnation, maybe. Harpy Girl. That's a my card. It's a harpy. I mean, she surely uses it at some point. Even if she doesn't, that's a it it can be considered one she should use. Harpy Lady 3. No harpies. This is where we're supposed to get her cards. Harpy Girl or Harpy Lady 3. We have two different cards. Lighten the load. Harpy Lady 2. Oh my gosh. A machine dupe. That's Machine Dupe. There's no way he doesn't use Machine Dupe. So that could be two points on him. One point on her. What else do we have left? Okay, so we still have. Dark Revelation, Soul the Duelist, Duelist Pack. Okay, Jaden is going to be good. There's one Cybernetic Revolution pack, so not a ton. I might put the two-pointer on Zane. I mean, that's that's a pretty nice one for him. I'll put the two-pointer on Zane. My, I really don't know where else we're getting her cards. Maybe in like Dark Revelation or something like that. I might put a Harpy Girl on hers just to get us a point on there. So that gives us three more points. So we're at 15, so we're only a quarter of the way there. We're a long way away. We still haven't used any of our uh, lock-ins yet though. So let's just keep going and hope we get some good stuff. That was a three point pack. That wasn't, putting down a one pointer wasn't, we got another harpy lady. So I guess that we weren't that desperate, but this is really, I mean, this is only dark revelation. Oh, there's another one. Never mind. there's one more. Medusa, nightmare penguin. That's used at the weird season three thing. Bokoichi, Lost Guardian, Ojama King. That's a two-pointer for Chaz. I think we go with the two-pointer for Chaz. Uh, we're probably going to lock that in. We have Pole Position, Minefield Eruption, Miss Polly, Ballista, Refusion, and Lighten the Load. Where are we going to get something better than a two, the two-pointer for Chaz? I mean, two is pretty good. Soul of the Duelist does have ulti Ojama King. If we get an ulti, though, we just replace it. You know, it's no big deal. We could get a rare Ojama King out of there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. Let's lock in Chaz. So here's what the board looks like total. That's everything. We have nothing on the twins. We have Ruxin's empty. We've got these are empty. These are empty. So still looking pretty good. All right, Dark Rev. Um, let's try this again. Dark Revelation Volume Three or vo yeah, Volume Three. Okay, this is kind of the least popular Dark Revelation, I think. Uh, Dark Hexail Fusion. We have Rock from the Valley of Haze. Skull Dog Marin. Battery Man Double A. Mind Golem. Heat of the Fire Charm. Spell Absorption. Okay, so these are going to be commons. Uh, Moki Moki Smackdown. Who used Moki Moki? It was probably some random side character, wasn't it? Let's do Soul of the Duels next. Let's see. Uh, Horus was used by who? I'm not sure. I'm trying to think. It might have been a random character too. We have Malice uh, Doll Demise. Now that's going to get quoted. Every time I say something like that, it's like, that might have been a random character. Ha ha. Look, Kaiba used them or something like that. I get it. Okay, I get it. I just don't know who it is. Pistol Designator. We have two man, man in Cell Battle. Dark Mimic Level 1. That's a nice uh, go card. Mind Crush. Mind wipe and penumbrals. We cannot escape. We cannot escape. Okay, soul of the duelist up next. One more try. Sod, soul of the duelist. Can you bless us? This is the Chaz pack, honestly. It does have some Chaz, Chaz stuff in it. Can you bless us with something big? We have the arm dragon. See, here we go. Arm dragon level one. We already have something on the Chaz. It's a two pointer, so it's all good. Heavy slump, howling insect, Rux and special. We have element dragon, ultimate baseball kid, the two man cell battle. Malice Doll of Demise, Skull Dog Marin, and 
Null and void, dude. We are pull we pull these cards all the time out of the Soul of the Duelist. Uh, I do have a bunch of boxes of Soul of the Duelist, so we're doing a box break soon for that as well. So we're actually going to be opening more of that and hopefully not pulling those cards in Ultimate Rare. Hopefully we pull the Horus cards in Ultimate Rare. Okay, this is a big one. Duelist Pack Jaden. We have already set down Hero Blast, so he has a two-pointer. We need something that is at least a Super or Ultra. Out of here, you can't get better than that, though. So that is kind of the thing. There's no five-pointers in here. I don't even remember what the Ultra is, but I'm assuming you used it because it's it's Jaden's pack. So, right, it's got to be Neos. That's a Jaden card. Miracle Feud, or Miracle Kits. Wild Edge. So that is... If I had known we had these, I wouldn't have locked in the Hero Blast because it's like a guaranteed two-pointer probably, but that's fine. Let's go to the next pack. If Oh, wait, did we get the checklist? No, that would have been nice. That would have been... That would have told us, I guess, yeah, that would have actually told us if we could have done it. Cybernetic Revolution Pack's probably retail, and we could get the Ulti Miracle Fusion in there, and that would actually be a five-pointer. Okay, Hero Signal, Rottweiler, Wing Karibo level 10. So we're just matching what we already have out of the Jaden Packs. Those are kind of like raising the floor for Jaden. It's like guarantee that you like at least have the option to get a good Jaden card, or like a one or two pointer, but it doesn't actually provide that much of a chance because it's such a low chance to get an ultra out of that set. There's only one, so it's kind of like, doesn't help you that much. Okay, Arcana Call, if you want to get like a high score. Arcana Force, I don't know what we're searching for out of here because I don't know who used Honest. I'm trying to think, like Judgment Dragon, who used Judgment? I don't know who used Light Swords. An ultra rare ultimate ancient gear golem. Okay, this would be nice if I if we had Dr. Crowler on here. But alas, Dr. Crowler is not here. The ultimate ult ancient gear golem. We didn't get the ultimate ultimate, because that would have been the ultimate rare version. But we did get an ultimate. That's pretty nice. Okay, light of destruction. No Dr. Crowler. He is here in spirit. I do enjoy the Dr. Crowler. He's hilarious. Okay, four from the back. We have Interplanetary Invader A. Quick Charger Charger. We have Cloudy and Storm Dragon. Hero Mask. Arcana Force 7, Cup of Ace, a Raging Gladian, the Arcana Force 6, the Lovers, and Lumina, the Lightsworn Summoner. I don't know who used Lightsworns. Who used Lightsworns? Was it her, maybe? Would she use those instead of Cyber Angels one time or something? I really don't know. All right, we got Elemental Energy. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. I'm sitting back with the popcorn. It's just probably gonna be a weekend video. It's perfect for the weekend. You know, you got time to watch our very, this is probably gonna be an hour long video. We haven't done that in a while. Hour long video, the Wheel Goat videos are long. They're like 45, 35 minutes, but hour, that's pretty crazy. You know, that's a long, long video. Four from the back. We have the Zero Night of Dark World. Roll out, Hydrogen on Bastion card. Featherwind, VW Tiger Catapult. That is, I guess, a Kaiba card. We have Weed Out. That's not a super, is it? Okay, that's Lily on it. Botting H2O. Reborn Zombie and Chthonian Blast. That's also a Chaz card. We already put a two pointer on him, so it's all good. That's cool. Let's see. Is this a retail pack? What is this? Because 88 would be retail pack. No, a 90 would be retail pack. Hobby pack is 84. Is this a Euro pack, maybe? Maybe because it's unlim. I don't know what this is. This is a different code. So who knows? Let's maybe we'll pull a big ulti and that'll shock us. One, two, three, four. Look at the centering on these back cards. Wow, that's really bad. Okay, we have Doitsu. Let's see what else we can get. Death croaking. We need to add some points. Mechanical out. We have Gyroid, Cyber Archfiend. I mean, maybe Zane, but it doesn't really count. Patroid. We already have better than that anyway. We have Tadpole. What do we have for him? Machine Dupe. Okay. Oh. Uh oh. This, I mean, this is a Jaden card. It has, when this gets used, I'm guessing Jaden is dueling with Cyrus at some point. I think he might be dueling it, I, somehow or another. It could have been, either way, I think they're both in the duel, so they should both count. We could upgrade Jaden to a four-pointer here. I thought we were about to get a Cyber and Dragon. That would have been, it would actually wouldn't have mattered because we both have two pointers. We could upgrade it to a four. I don't see a world where we don't take a four-pointer. I mean, that's as, that's about as good as you're going to get. And this has Avian on it. This has to be considered a Jaden card. So I'm going to replace. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll put it on top of it so we know that we've done two. That's a four pointer right there. That gives us this many points. I'm not going to try to keep that track of it in my head anymore. I could just count them in front of me, but that would take. I mean, it's already been a long video, so I'm not going to dilly dally any longer. OK, four pointer, our first four pointer of the video. That is pretty crazy. And of course, it involves the UFO right one two three and that's actually a rare pull 124 uh four from the back should be good but these are really warped maybe that means we got something good mass hypnosis micah we got crystal blessings back to the wall a celebrating device we have volcanic hammer terrible deal and oh. 
That's a Crystal Beast Ultra Rare. That's a four-pointer for Jesse Anderson. That is normally a pull you'd be like, but in this situation, this context, that's a huge pull. We just pulled a four-pointer. That's two four-pointers in a row. Okay, now I need to know how many points we have. That puts us at 24 points. We're almost halfway there. That is a big-time pull. Because, like, he was going to be one of the harder ones to, like, cover. Getting a four-pointer as his first card is huge. There's a Crystal Beacon. We could have used that for him, but I think we're going to stick with the four-pointer. Uh, terrible deal. Holy, that's a big back-to-back -back packs right there. Volcanic Recharge, Crystal Beacon. Cobalt Eagle. There's another Crystal Beast that we could have used. Breakthrough and Go Go, the Gallant Ninja. He's going, he's going. We have another Force the Breaker. He is not quite gone yet, like the baseball. Can we pull an Ultimate Rare Rare value? Now that would be a nice upgrade. Now we're getting all the Crystal Beasts now that we don't need them. Four from the back. We have a Volcanic Hammer. Any ulti Crystal Beast will be enough to be a five pointer. Otherworld, Crystal Beast, Amber Mammoth, Crystal Abundance, Heart Cell, and Zombie. Crystal Beast, Emerald Tortoise, and Lucky Iron Axe. Okay, nothing crazy there. Power of the Duelist. I don't remember who uses Future Fusion. A Chaotic Meatball just messaged me about who was using it like yesterday, and I can't remember because he was watching GX. I should I should have brought him on as a consultant for this video. One, two, three, four. Okay, I don't know what we're going to put on this lady, whatever her name is. What's her name? A key, not Akiza, a Alisa, a, 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 it's a start with an A. Common Soul, Destiny Mirage, I really don't know. Black Terra, uh, what's her name? Alexa, Alexa, maybe. Paths of Destiny, and... Oh, no, to be free, Submarine, or I, we don't have him. No, we don't have Cyrus. Our first five-point card is not eligible. Does this count? I do say I love this card. I could put this on the Ruxin 34. Every time we pull this, I say I love this card. This should be a Ruxin 34 card. I think it should. I think this counts as Ruxin 34. Let me know in the comments what you think of this should count. I always say when we pull Submarine Roid, I love the ulti, and we pulled it recently, didn't we? Did I grade that card? Or was it for somebody else? I can't remember. We now pulled it twice. That's pretty weird. I'm counting that as a Ruxin 34 card. That's a five-pointer. We're putting us at 29. Nothing can top that. That's a max card. We got to be... Look, there is a reason to consider that it counts. We got to use it, right? And look, this is for you guys' giveaway. So you guys should be on my side here, okay? We have Power Tool Dragon. This is good. If we get any Power Tool Dragon, it can go on the Twins. Uh, and that is what we really need because they have zero points right now. A five-pointer is huge. Two four-pointers in this bat. Like, we are going off right now. Power Tool Dragon, Ghost, or Ulti would be a five-pointer. And Ultra would be a four-pointer. Any of those would be great. Evil Thorn. Natural Tune. Quacky Mirror Doom. Attack the corner, Radfinixie and Seed, Brain Golem, and Strong Wind Dragon. Who uses this card? Okay, let's see if I can read this and figure it out. Opponent cannot be destroyed by a monster that has the same attack. Tribute some by tributing a dragon. This is like a, this is a Chaz feeling card. It feels like this, if this was anything, it'd be a Chaz card because he uses dragons. But I don't remember if he used it or not. I really don't. So, oh, it's painful because right now, what do we have on Chaz? We have a two pointer on Chaz. We have Ojama King. Does he ever use strong wind dragon? I don't think he does. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go with my gut and say he doesn't. If he did, it'd be two extra points. So uh, I don't know. I don't know. Nothing for... The twins yet, nothing for Akiza, nothing for Crow, nothing for Jack. Like, wow, this is rough. Like, where's the Crimson Crisis? That's what we need. We need something big. Uh, Jack, Stardust Dragon will work for both Jack and for... Wait, do we have Yusei? Yusei's not even in this. I just realized that. There's no Yusei in this, is there? Interesting. Okay. Okay, no Yusei. I'm not going to do the crazy pack trick here because I just got... I messed something up. I did a double pack trick. Snowman Eater. Black Whirlwind. Okay, so we have some... We do have some Blackwing cards. I think it's getting to the point where we probably want to put a Blackwing card on him, and Black Whirlwind's probably a good one to do it. That'll put us at 30. And if we ever get anything bigger, we can replace it. I think, because we're almost done with box two, and there's only one more box after this. So I think now's the time. We probably need to. Okay, let's go to Ancient Fairy. Ancient Fairy Dragon is also the twins. So they have Power Tool and Ancient Fairy Dragon. So they have a few opportunities to go crazy here. We've got Brain Research Lab. we got Battle Telly. Divine Dragon, Sunlight Unicorn. That's the card that they can use. Damage Translation, Release Restraint Wave. Regagura, we have Fulham Knight. Uh-oh. Ancient Fairy Dragon, Ultimate Rare. No, Sunlight Unicorn, we will not be using you. We will be using the Ultimate Rare. Five-pointer Ancient Fairy Dragon. We just, 
I mean, we have pulled the ulti of this a few times now. I mean, the ghost rare a few times. Now we pulled the ulti a few times. We have great luck with this set. And that is a five pointer. Check this out. I think that puts us at 35 points that the score on the screen will be correct. We have now hit into, well, we had already hit the second level, but we are all the way, all these giveaways will be part of the giveaway. And then a 60 pointer right there. So that's the last one we need for the Duelist Genesis pack. Pack hiccup. Oh, now I realize what he said. I can take over one of the cards to here. Wait a second. We pulled Blue Eyes Tune in the last episode. Oh, we had to complete the challenge last time. No, we could have saved the Blue Eyes Tune. No, that's so sad. Okay, Ancient Fairy uh, has been pulled. So now I'm. what else can we get out of here? Akiza has zero points. So does Jack. We, we got to turn that around. Same thing with whatever Alexa or whatever her name is. I really don't even know where we're going to pull her cards. I don't, I have no idea. Cyborg Doctor, we have Brain Research. I guess CRV, we could have pulled the Cyber Is that CRV? That is Cyber Blader? Pixie Ring, a Flamebell Counter, Arcane Knight Joker, and Sunny Pixie. That is also one that they, the twins use. Okay, there's a Storm of Ragnarok. I think there might be a Jack card in there. Joey doesn't have a card either. I just realized that. Glass Box needs to go ham. There's some people that don't have any cards right now, and that is... I mean, that, I mean, zero points is, is a nightmare. Okay, we have Stygian Jurge, Toon Magician, Spider Spider, Swap Frog, Spider Egg. I don't know who we're getting out of Stardust Overdrive. Insect Neglect, Fortune Lady Dark. Here we go. Dark Spider. Okay, so nothing. Out, I, who uses these cards? I don't know. I really don't. I don't know who does it. Uh, Stardust Overdrive pack number two. Who uses the Majestic Star? I don't know. Is that Jack? Or, no, he uses Red Dragon Archfiend. Yeah, he doesn't use that. Secret, and maybe he, I don't know. Herculean Power, Quick Draw, somebody probably uses that. Faustian, Sea Panther, Roar the Earthbound, Forging Lady Wind, and Slip Summon. It really doesn't matter as much if we know the commons. It's really about if we know the foils, like Strong Wind Dragon. Wait, Jack might use that. I didn't even think about that. We could have a four pointer right there. We've already passed it. We can't use it as part of the rules. I bet he uses that. Oh, now I'm kicking myself. I didn't even think about Jack. I just went right to Chaz. But that's a 5D's card. Why was I thinking about Chaz? Oh, I'm kicking myself. Reptilian Sila. Oh, no. I've realized my mistake. I think he uses that. It's clicking now. Fortune Lady Wind. Spider Spider. I don't know who was supposed to be in those Starter Server Drive packs. I really don't know. Okay, last pack of box two, Storm of Ragnarok. I don't know who uses these. I'm not going to lie. Three from the, let's just do three from the back. Uh, Max C, anybody? We have Hourglass of Courage. I don't know. Karakuri, Scrap Shark. I don't know who uses these. Doppel Warrior? Goddard Amarong. I, I'm lost on that one. I think we made a massive mistake and didn't give Storm Room Dragon. Storm Wing Dragon. Storm Wind Dragon. Dadgummit. To Jack. I think he used it. Okay, final box. It's in a bag for some reason, which scares me. For, it's like it's going to stink when you open it. I don't know why it just scared me. Okay, this is supposedly, I guess they get better. So let's see what kind of, I mean, these have been great packs. I don't know. Oh my gosh. We got some chances for Jack. Let's just say that. Oh, there it is. Yes, I was not, I was not, I was not wrong. There was some Metal Raiders in here. Original print. Okay, we need to pull something for, for Joey. We need something better for Maya. One pointer is not going to do it. There is potential for Yugi in here. Yeah, Yugi and Kaiba being at three points. I feel like they need to be higher because they have so many options. Okay, uh, and Ruxin is already good. So we don't need to worry about Ruxin. These are original, so we can go four from the back. We have, uh, oh, these are not. These might be... Oh, yeah, these are 2010, I think. Okay, Mushroom Man, number two. Watch out. Block attack. I might have done the wrong pack trick. Electric Wizard. There's Rex in 34. We have Rabbit Horseman. That's a copy card. Tongyo, more infant. Yeah, the four from the back was incorrect on that one. Uh, Should have been flippity flop. Okay, this one is also a 20. No, wait. Yeah, this is a 2010 pack. Okay, come on. We need something. We need something for uh, for my. Give us Harvey Lady Sisters. Give us a, um, what would Gate Guardian? It doesn't work. Gate Guardian doesn't work here. What's the other secret? Thousand Dragon would be great for Joey. Yes, please. I did four. Oh, wait. I think that, I don't know if that works. We have Crash Clown, Mystic Horseman. I did it wrong again. I think I did, but we'll see more in Finn. We have Thunder Dragon and Little Chimera. Okay, those were, Thunder Dragon's a great card, but th those were not good for our situation here. We are not, we are going to be, it's going to be an hour video. Invasion of Chaos. This could have CED. CED could go for Kaiba as a five pointer. BLS could be a four pointer for Yugi. Demok could be a, that's a, is that a four pointer? Is that a Yugi card? Demox, it's gotta be. Jaden said, no, it was used in GX, wasn't it? I think Demox is a GX card. 
I don't remember you used it though, Soul Tigre. But I that could be interpreted as Yugi should use that. So I think that would be fair. Compulse and Chaos Sork. So just a common. We're gonna leave that one behind. Uh-oh. We're it's all crumbling before our eyes. We need something big. CD would be massive. This one is a actual old pack, I think. Not a 2010. I think this is an original. Yes, it is. That means we can do four from the back here. Okay, four. Give us that CED. That'd be a crazy old school pack. Uh, Sacred Crane. Feel the pain. There's Bastion card. Uh, Fenrir, not Chimera. We have Crimson Ninja. Pinch Hopper. Griffith's Feather Duster. Reload. Super rare. That is probably used by somebody, but I feel, I feel like it's like a GX card. I feel like somebody used that in GX or 5Ds. I don't know who it was, though. All right. Legacy of Darkness. We are on a cold streak. We are opening some old school packs, but we're not actually pulling any cards that we need. Legacy of Darkness. Do you have a Joey card? Injection was not used by anybody on here. Yada. I don't remember who used Yada. I'm not sure. Robo Lady, Serpentine Princess, Spirit Ryu. Creature swap. Somebody definitely used this. It was probably Yugi, to be honest. I bet Yugi used this card, but I don't know that he used it. That's the problem. Somebody used this on this board. Oh, I, got, I don't know what it is, though. I just have to keep going. I don't know who used it. Oh, that sucks. That was a great pull, too. Ultra rare creature swap. It's a really sick card. That card goes crazy in GOAT. Like, big crazy. All right, Warrior Die Graffer. Let's see, Dragon Dwelling in the Cape. I don't really know what a lot of these cards are going to be going toward in terms of Legacy of Darkness. Super Rejuve. I can't think of anything off the top of my head that fits with anybody. Fusion Sword, Murasame Blade, and that's not going to be one of them. All right, let's try Pharaoh Surf. These are like the most fun packs, but I feel like there's like the chances. There's just not as many people we need here. Okay, one, two, three, four. Can we get Jinzo? That's a Joey card. That counts as a Joey card. Insect Barrier, Spike Bot. I have truth. We have the Ruxin special. Mr. Volcano, that fiery finger. Science soldier driving snow. Harvey's brother. You boosted knights. Okay, Harpy's brother. Harpy's brother. I mean, that could be a my card. I think it is a my card, but it's only one point. So try for Jinzo again, please. Let's see what we can do. The Jinzo secret rare. Shall we pull it? One, two, three, four. We have regulation of the tribe. Skull Mariner. Cold Wave. Gamble. Ruxin special. Harpy brother again. Reign of Mercy, Type Zero Magic Crusher, Twin Headed Fire Dragon, and the Mention Hole. Problem is with these old packs too is it's harder to pull foil, so therefore harder to get like high value cards for like high number point cards. Magic Ruler, we've already pulled the Blue Eyes tuned. Can we pull it again? Anybody? It didn't count from last last time, unfortunately, because we didn't complete the challenge. Oh, crap. That screwed us so bad. That would have been a five pointer on Pegasus. He'd be good to go. We have Tyo number two, Electric Snake. Minar, Jig and Bakadun. There's some good stuff in Magic Ruler. Can we get something that fits? Kraken, Dark Witch, Giant Rat. That seems like a Joey card too, but I'm not sure if he used it or not, so I don't want to put it on there. Dark Beginning. This thing has nothing above an Ultra, so Ultra is the best we can get. There are probably a ton of things that fit, fit Joey and Yugi and Kaiba here. Tip card. We have Little Chimera. Come on. Great Moth. Little Ruxin special right there. Zumbiro the Dark, Princess of Sarugi, Battle Steer. Portraits in the Darkness, Royal Command, that's a rare. Oh, man, just a rare. Okay, it's a lot of nothing in these. So, okay, okay, let's just let's just rebound right here. Cyberdark Impact. We Oh, we have Duelist Pack Zane coming up. That's good, because we only have a two-pointer on him. But as we mentioned before, it's hard to get, like, high ones on them. But if we can get this, even a super, it'd be good. Okay, we have Chain, chain Detonation, Dark Lucius Level 4, Level Down, Snipe Hunter, Straight Flush, Stray Asmodian, Instant Fusion, Man Beast of Ares and a Dimension Inversion. Inversion. We are on a cold streak, this third box. Duelist Pack Zane Truesdale. Come on. Give us cyber something. Cyber anything in foil, right? Cyber, cyber something. Give us something for one of the characters who doesn't have anything right now, please. Yeah, Over Dragon. Is that is that in hollow? Cyberdark Horn. Cyber Dark Dragon. Okay. Wait. Is it when he's evil he uses this? So we can upgrade to a three-pointer here. He definitely uses Cyber Dark Dragon, right? It's not some other character. It's not some random character that comes back and fights him. Look, it has Cyber in the name. I'm going with it, okay? That's a three-pointer. We've now replaced his second, so he's maxed out at three. Wait. Yeah, this is probably his best chance, so we'll do that. That's three points. We're at 36 now. Man, we need. A, we got a long way to go to 60. 60 is tough. Really tough. Strike and Neos. Air Neos would be enough to upgrade. Well, actually, Jaden's maxed out, isn't he? Jaden's maxed out, so we don't even need to upgrade Jaden. 
So in that case, maybe there's somebody for this lady, whatever her name is. I don't know what she uses, though. I really don't know. One, two, three, four. Upside down card because it's an ultimate rare air Neo. So we have ritual ceiling. Six Samurai, Firestorm, Ebon Steed, come on, Grin Tactician of Dark World, Swift Samurai, Solid Abyss, and Fusion Devourer. That's just a rare, just a rare. Okay, Enemy of Justice. I'm not, oh, 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 this has some of her cards in it. Enemy of Justice has the Cyberblade. I knew I was wrong about what that was in. Ultimate Rare Cyberblader, regular Cyberblader even. That'd be a three-pointer. Three I think it's a super. I always pull that card. Let's just pull it again right here. We have the Destiny Hero Doom Lord. Misfortune, Bountiful Artemis, Searchlight Man, Dimension Fusion. Who used a Dimension Fusion? Swift Burp. Ah, oh, that's a my card, I think. D, D Shield. Destiny Hero Diamond Dude. Do not have that guy in here. Astro Phoenix. So many cards have been pulled for you. Give us something for her. Let us give let us put something down. Come on. Cyberblader. Be the most excited I've ever been to pull a Cyberblader. Okay. War from the back. We have Element 2 Hero, Necroid Shaman, Battery Man D. Our Righteous Justice. Swift Bird Man, we have D-Shield, Guard Dog, Oversoul, and an Ultimate Rare D-Time. Where is Aster? Aster Phoenix, why are you not here? It's a five-pointer on the D-Time, the most classic Ultimate Rare ever made. Oh, that hurts so much. An uncounted five-pointer. And there's a couple Ultras we haven't counted. This is brutal. Nothing for her. Nothing. Okay, Flaming Eternity. I probably missed something I could have done, but let me know in the comments the ones I missed. Flaming Eternity. I don't really know what we're getting out of here. One, two, three, four. We have Threatening Roar. Pole Position. Poison Fangs. Divine Dragon Ragnarok. Element Valkyrie. Refusion. This is first ed, by the way. I didn't even notice that. Rescue Cat. Somebody probably uses that. Good Goblin Housekeeping. And Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. Somebody definitely uses this. That's such a good card, but I don't know who uses it. Man, the spell traps are hard to remember who used them. More Rise of Destiny. Here's the problem. Rise of Destiny. I don't know if there's anything we need in here. There's got to be because he put it in here, but I don't know what it is. That's the problem. One, two, three, four. Creator Incarnate. Uh, the Creator. Like, was that a Yugi card? I feel like it was. Creeping Doom Manta. Harpy Lady 2. I mean, there is that. We did, I guess, get something out of Rise of Destiny. The Ultimate Insect. More Ultimate level cards that's chaz i don't know i don't know i don't know a perfect machine king that'd be bandit keith right so that wouldn't actually help this is not opening monster reincarnation if it was an ulti would be enough for yugi i think he used that harpy lady one which i don't know why he would though because he had monster reborn i guess i don't know mighty guard uh nightmare penguin back square one creepy new manta and pikaru circle of enchantment i i don't know did somebody use this at some point Maybe, maybe. Okay, this is brutal. This last box is not helping us too much. Now we're on a crossroads. We're going to get some for Akiza. It's going to be a Black Rose, right? And it's going to be a ghost. Imagine. Oh my gosh. I just take the ulti. Ultra on it, honestly. It would be good. Oh no. Something in my throat. Because I know it's coming. It's going to be It's gonna be immortalized on the short forever when we pull the Ghost Rare. Giant Trap Hole. Giant Trap Hole. Okay, Wall of Ivy goes in match. Healing Wave Generator. I think I need to do the weird pack trick and I didn't do it. Zombie Mammoth. Okay. Okay. Wait a second. Wait a second. That's that's a that's a synchro. Let's 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 get that Morphtronic out of the way. Synchro card. There are a lot of synchros in the set. Black Rose. Come on, baby. Oh man. Psychic life transfer. That's not the one. Twenty four hundred is Black Rose, but it might be. Is it? It's not two K defense, is it? Is it twenty one? I don't remember. Gave us a little fright there, in a good way. Oh uh oh. Okay. One two three. I think it's this maybe all right iron chain coil we need something for her gigantic cephalotus that's a plant maybe any of these plants are probably hers nettles poison chains comrade swordsman land star that could be joey wait that's joey wait we're gonna oh puppet master super rare i don't know if he uses that miracle fertilizer wait okay this is a plant card this definitely fits her two pointer counting it i bet she uses that because she's a plant she's the plant person are we really not going to get a joey card besides this that's a Swordsman of Landstar. It's related to him. That's one point. So that's three points in that pack. All right. That leaves us with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs. But we do have Duelist Genesis. I don't think we can get to 60 here. I'm not sure if we can. Let's find out. Oh, no. Packs are going everywhere. One, two, three. I need to clear off the space. Let's get a Stardust Dragon. Judgment of Thunder. Come on. Recycling Batteries. Quill Bolt. I can't believe Joey has like nothing in these. Psychic Snail. Handcuffs Dragon and... 
Dark the Dark Charmer. We're going bigger. We're going home. We're getting something big for Jack. All right. More Duelist Genesis. That's fun. Oh, whoa. First edition. Were those first edition? Oh my gosh. I didn't even notice. Those were first edition. Okay. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. We might have to save that for the end. We might have to save Jack's for now. These are all first ed. Okay. Let me just, let's get Duelist Pack Crow done first. I did not notice that first ed. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Let's calm down a little bit. Let's open Crow. Crow only has a black whirlwind on him. We can improve on that, right? We can improve on that. Okay, flip it around. Level returner. Just give us a rare or a super. Armed wing. Boom. That's an upgrade. Uh, we do that. Okay, boom. That upgrades by one point. We'll take it. Fake feather. You guys see the total points. We're almost at 40, I think. Somewhere around 40. Uh, we got a lot of jack cards, and I don't really know if anybody else is in absolute power force slash the duelist genesis. Maybe a couple cards. Three from the back should work. Tricular. We have Supe. Shinking. Out of here, the Ghost Shirt would be a five-pointer for him. We have Quill. we have Dark Buck, and Consecrated Light. I think this is, you do the flippity-flop on this one. Absolute Power Force, that's also first dead. Uh, yeah, he wasn't kidding about these being serious in the last, last box. They're pretty serious. I think we do this for this one, like that. We have the Variety Comes Out, Advanced Force, Swordmaster, Oil Man, da -da -da -da. we have Power Invader, Nature's Reflection, Evil Blast, and Rocket Pilder. Wait, man, Jack is getting absolutely screwed right now, but he's saving it for the big pull right here. First edition Duelist Genesis. This could be one of the craziest pulls on the channel if we get a Ghost Rare. I mean, Ghost Rare, Stardust, this pack is not wanting to open because it knows what is about to happen. One of the biggest pulls we have ever had. One, two, three from the back. Run it, the flippy flip, because it's first out, I'm going to be extremely careful not to do anything crazy. We have Psychic Snail. Synchro Deflector. Come on, baby. We need something big for Jack. An ulti or a ghost would be five points. An ultra would be four. And the ghost would obviously be the biggest. Uh, Destructotron. Sword of Kusanagi. Twin Shield Defender. Okay, I did the wrong pack trick. That didn't work. Let's just let's just do three. Let's just do a solid three. Two more packs in the video. By the way, if you guys have enjoyed this video, shout out Happy for the awesome idea and sending these packs for me to open for him. Also, subscribe to the channel because we're opening every pack ever, including a first Ed Duelist Genesis. When we hit 250,000, and we're doing many other cool things as well. So check it out go check out ruxin34.com if you want to support the channel if you made it all the way through this video you need to subscribe because you've watched an hour video i mean let's be honest okay telepathic power we have a gladiator beast who plays glad beasts i don't know recycling batteries i have no idea what this lady plays i don't know turbo booster we have overworked a tur oh okay i did do the pack trick right earlier a secret rare splendid venus Fairy types. Who used fairy types? Can I throw out a guess and just maybe she converted to fairy types? <laughs> maybe she converted. I'm, I'm, you know, that's a five pointer. Why not? I'm, I'm gonna give myself a chance because she used cyber cards. But maybe at some point she used fairies. I'm trying to think of who used fairies. Oh, this is this is five Ds. That's GX. I don't know who used this. I don't know who used this. I don't think that's... Oh man, we've hit some five-pointers that are just duds. That kind of sucks. All right, but still, first set pull out of a secret out of Duel Genesis. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Can we at least get something for Jack, right? Like, I mean, I mean, Red Dragon Archfiend ulti? Red Dragon Archfiend not ulti? <laughs> I mean, anything. Last pack magic. Here we go. One, two, three. This has been a fun opening. So it was here last time. So this is the correct pack trick, I think. All right, glad you'd be a quest. Just give us the last pack magic. Here we go. This has been a crazy fun opening. Super long. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Silent Strider, longest video we've done in quite a while. Lightwave tuning. Dark the Dark Charmer. I probably missed tons of stuff that we could add more points. Let me know the ones I missed. Uh, Trap of Darkness. And here we go. Last pack magic. This looks like a foil. Charger Light Brigade? Unstable Evolution. Okay, I pulled this in first head like three times. So we always get this thing. Okay, I don't know who uses that, to be honest. We didn't get two characters. I feel like we definitely could have at some point. I just missed them. We performed well, so everything will be given away except the Duelist Genesis pack. I did my best, guys. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. It was super, super fun. Thank you again, Happy. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Ernesto Dian, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa, Jr. Barding, Robert F., Chang Lang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.